Okay, so this video is quite good fun because you get to choose all the different materials and surfaces you want your camera to look like. Uh, we have to change our um, setup on Fusion from Model, and you click this button, and you change it to Render. And this will take us into a new workspace, which will allow us to put lots of materials on. You have a panel down here which at the moment I want you to press the minus button here to make that smaller but we will be looking at that later on and I also want you to hide your work planes now because we don't want to see these anymore so you can go over to your origin and press this light bulb and they will disappear now it's already looking like it's got shadow and materials on it but it it doesn't we're going to put on some new stuff so click on this button up here for appearance and this menu will appear here. It might look a bit smaller than this. It might look like this here. And we're going to open up our library here and start putting on, if you click the arrow, and we're going to start putting on some of these nice materials here. Before you go ahead, though, change this button from bodies to just faces. And that means you can select individual faces that you want different surfaces and different materials to go on. Um, you can basically choose whatever you like in here, but I'm going to give you a few hints and tips to make this look pretty cool and realistic looking. So if we look again at mine here, I've got a texture surface on here. I've got, this is leather that I put on in here. This is a cool knurled finish in here. I think I've got some black plastic finish here, but chrome, which is shiny metal. And I even put on some white plastic um, on the outs outside edge and the inside of the lens here. So let's have a look where those things are. We've got um, a whole bunch of materials here. Let's go to something nice and straightforward to start with. Let's go to metal. We'll go to aluminium. You can see we've got lots of different colours of aluminium here. For example, here's some anodized um, blue, which is going to be really shiny aluminium. Bring that over, put that on. At the moment, it's not going to look shiny yet um, because we've not created a render of it. But you would have to put it onto all the surfaces that you want it to be on. Um, and you would have to, again, spin that round so that you can get the back of it if that's what you were looking for. There we are. You can start seeing some sort of shine of it as, it, as I'm rotating around. And just pop that on all the surfaces. Now, you could make the whole thing look blue if you had selected bodies and components because the whole thing is a big one. If I select that and go for red, the whole thing, remove appearances that have already applied, the whole thing's gone red in a big one. -er. So that can be handy if you want to do the whole surface quickly and then switch on to faces if you want to change individual faces. So now let's go to something like, now that I've made it bright red, aluminium. Let's go to plastic, which is down here. Um, white ABS can look quite cool. So let's put some white ABS on a surface. Let's um, select it and drag it on. Wait till you see the surface selected and then drop it in. That's me now creating a nice white edge. And I've got in here, if I click opaque, I've got like, there's a glossy black plastic. So I could pull that into this little edge in here. Can be dark. Maybe I'm going to pull in a little bit more ABS into this bit here, and you can see the front of my lens now is got a zebra effect. But do be careful because if I zoom right in here, you'll notice that there's still a red surface that I've not actually got yet. So let's uh, make that black, dragging some black in there. And I'm going to have the same one over here. So you actually have to be quite careful if you're doing this face by face that you actually catch all the little edges that you want. This will all look good in your final render. Um, now it's completely up to you what you do, but I will show you in here, if you go to other, you've got fancy things here, like there's some carbon fibre, and that is, I think, the surface that I used for the front of my camera, because it gave it a nice texture. But if it has an arrow next to it like this, that means it's not yet downloaded. So you just click the arrow, it will download it into your um, library 
and then you can drag it over and uh, put it on. And you can see that cool like carbon fiber texture now coming in here. I'll put on another texture up here for you to see. Um, this time I'm going to go into metal. I'm going to select aluminium. I'm going to scroll down until I find aluminium knurled. There it is right there. I'm going to drag that on to this surface here. Now, a knurled texture is when you've got a gripped surface on it, but this knurling that I've put on is a bit too big, this triangles that have appeared. So all the materials that you put in, they all sit up here if they're in your design. And you can edit them. So you could actually change that colour. If you didn't like red, you can right click it, you can edit it, and you'll be able to change it to orange. But if I I'm not interested in the red one, I'm interested in this knurled one. I'm going to right click it and select edit. And it will allow me to make those triangles a little bit smaller. So I can drag this down and make create a more realistic gripped surface in here. Now this is going to look great when I uh, come to render this. Um, as you can see, if I show you the picture here. Oh, there we are, you can see that. Um, reflection there on the knurled surface. There's leather in the materials one, that's what I did on that surface there. Um, but I'm also going to make this, you don't see it in this picture, I'm going to make this shine um, like it's got a flash in it. This will be the last thing I show you. Um, if you want to make something look like it's lit up, um, like it's shining a light on you, if we go over here and I'm going to select other and it is under emissive and these materials here that says like it's a display an LCD display you can take them let's download one that's a white one let's take that one and let's drag it over and put it on now it's not going to shine at the moment and I am going to edit it I'm going to go edit I'm going to select advanced this will make it shine really bright under this word here click this little arrow and type in quite a high value in here let's go for six thousand press return and you can see now that that is looking like it's much brighter press apply if you think it's too bright later on you can go back and edit it and make it less shiny. Um, let's close this. So I'm going to um, take some time to make this look like I want it to do with my different materials. My word of advice is don't do too many different colours. Try and make it look realistic in terms of um, something you would see in a real product.